Allison, right? I'm Sophia. I run the ER. Wow, this place is pretty impressive. Yup, but you look like you can handle it. Well, that's us. You're in for a fun day. Can't wait. That's the attitude. Another good day for the books. You got a bit winded, didn't you? Yeah, sorry, there was a lot going on. Don't apologize, you did amazing. I don't know. Believe me, you didn't puke, you were in control, you helped several patients. You didn't kill anyone and you're still alive. That's a great job in my books. Hey Allison, meet Joe. Hey, I would give you a hand, but then my fair lady would fall to the floor. My name's Joe, and I drive one of the ambulances here. I also managed to somehow get this amazing woman over here to fall madly in love with me. I'm just dating you for your car. Is that right? Hmm. It does have a siren, and it is pretty impressive. Ah, whatever. Speaking of my car, I need to get going. You ready, Jenny? Totally. Love you, and see you after my shift. That man, he's just so perfect. Life is so much better if you have someone to share it with. Sophia is awesome, she's in total control and nothing gets her down. And she actually likes me, me. Why wouldn't she? And I've been doing really great, no mistakes. And the work is real medical work, I'm suturing wounds, removing class and I'm just I'm sorry, I keep rambling about how awesome everything is, and I didn't even ask how you're doing. Surprisingly well actually. I mean I've been able to stay away from amphetamines so far. And even the renovation has been going better than ever. On top of that I get to spend some time with you. I couldn't have gotten through this without you, Allison. I, I have to get back to the ER. I'll talk to you later. I was about to send out the dogs. You had a pretty long lunch, someone special? Saved by the bell. Is, is my dad go going to be okay? I, 
I don't know. Don't worry. We have the best doctors in the world working on him. Allison, I could use a little help. stable. Can I talk to him? You can try, honey, but he might not be able to talk back yet. One for you, and one for your dad. Dad? Allison, you haven't been yourself the whole day. Well, this is all a little too familiar to me. Oh no, we're crashing. Don't worry, Ali. We have parachutes. Just now. And we live happily ever after, right, Dad? Indeed, we did. Now we go play hide and seek. And go hide on an extra easy spot, okay? Okay, Ali. need to get his situation isn't great he's totally out of it we don't usually see a patient this young in such a state if only we could have gotten to him sooner
Yup, if only. What happened? Why did you run away? It is all my fault. If I found my dad sooner, he would still be okay. Sweetie, your dad had a cardiac event. There would have been nothing you could do even if you had found him sooner. Let's go back to your dad, shall we? You want to help, right? I'm 100% sure your dad can hear you, even though he can't talk. What if you just keep talking to him to remind him why he has to stick around? What do you say? I'm so sorry. It's okay, it was a long time ago. It's just, this little girl, I know exactly how helpless she feels. Have I ever told you why I like lollipops? No matter how bad a day is, you can always have a lollipop. It's always something that's achievable. And it might not change anything, but at least now you have something sweet that lasts a little while. There isn't a day that can't be improved with a simple gesture, small acts of kindness that make all the difference. So what can we do to make this girl's day just a little better? Well, I think we have three or four colored pencils here. And we could give Lisa some stationery or graph paper to draw on. Lisa, would you like to make a drawing for your dad? I'll help whenever I can, okay? Dr. Allison, I drew you. Wow, that's really beautiful, Lisa. Lisa, have you ever seen the inside of an ambulance? 
Does it have lollipops? Does it have lollipops? Of course it has! Aren't the ambulances that way? Yes, but let's take the scenic route. It doesn't look good. He's too weak to receive medication, but too far along to recover on his own. We have to do something, Sophia. He'll die otherwise. I knew the ER was a dangerous place, but this is a first for me. I'm sorry, Daniel. It's this case. And these stupid medical journals aren't helping me at all. When was the last time you were anywhere besides this hospital? I don't know. Okay, tonight you're eating a home-cooked meal at my place. And I'm not taking no for an answer, Missy. Have a nice dinner. Thank you. Allison? Allison, I wanted to know if you wanted something to drink. I'm sorry, I keep having to apologize to you. If you're going to be thinking about it anyway, why don't you tell me about your case? Well, it's a 40-year-old male, came in with a heart condition. So basically, you need some way to make him well enough to handle the cardiac medication? Exactly, then he could recover almost instantly. Well, there's this doctor in Boston who's experimenting with slow degrading stimulants to increase a patient's health temporarily during a treatment. And then only after the patient has started the real recovery the stimulants start breaking down. Daniel, that could actually work. Dr. Fogarty, Boston General. I guess that this dinner is over. Rain check. <laughs>